Jessica Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashwin Gupta and today we are going to discuss about Fiber Optics Communication Trainer and its order code is 28553. So in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this kit. So this is Fiber Optic Communication Trainer. So here we are having the circuitry on the top and this is the function generator section. So from this section we have to do the connections and we will perform the experiments one by one. So this is the function generator section. Here we are having frequencies ranging from 1 to 10 Hz, then 10 to 100 Hz, then 100 Hz to 1 kHz, then 1 kHz to 10 kHz and 10 kHz to 100 kHz. So this is the function generator section and here we are having the frequency selection knob and this is the amplitude variable knob. Then this is the carrier generation section. Here we are having analog buffer, digital buffer. This is error bit adder, this is PIBS generator, this is amplitude modulation section, this is PWM, PPM modulator section, this is FM modulator section, this is FM demodulator section, this is PWM, PPM demodulator section, this is AM demodulator section, this is the filter section and this is the BER counter section and this is PC to PC communication block. Then this is the amplifier section then this is the intensity control section then this is the audio in and speaker output section and this is the optical fiber connection ports these are the transmitters and these two are the receiver ports so here we are having 660 nm transmitter and this is the 950 nm transmitter port and the, these are the two receivers now we are going to perform an experiment on the kit. So the experiment we are going to perform is to setting up a fiber optic analog link. So for that firstly we need to do the connection. So this is the external power supply which is provided along with this kit. So we need to connect this connector at this connector section and it gets locked automatically when you will push it. So here you can see this is the external power supply which we have connected. So now when we will switch on this power supply the trainer kit gets supply. Now we need to switch on the DS also. So firstly we need to do the connections that is mentioned in the manual. So firstly we need to connect this optical fiber cable so we will connect the optical fiber cable here so firstly you need to rotate it in anti clockwise direction so we are connecting it at sfh 756 v so we will connect it here so you need to push it and then you need to slowly rotate it in clockwise direction so that it gets locked like this you need to connect so this is the transmitter one and now we need to connect it at the receiver one so this is the one meter optical fiber cable which I am using here So similarly here also we need to connect the optical fiber cable like this. So that is how the optical fiber cable is connected at the transmitter and the receiver end. Now we have to do the connections. So firstly we need to keep the intensity knob at fully anti-clockwise direction that is the intensity should be minimum initially. And now we need to connect the power supply which we have connected and now we need to change the jumper position. So we will go to the function generator section and here we will choose the range of 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz. So we need to put the jumper at 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz. And now we will keep the frequency knob at minimum and the level knob at minimum. And now we will connect. the sign output 
from the function generator section to the input of analog buffer and we will connect the output of analog buffer to the input of transmitter section and we need to connect the other end of detector so this is the detector end and we have connected the optical fiber here so that is how the connection is done and now we need to observe the waveforms so for that we required the DSO so firstly we will observe the input waveform so we will connect the ground to the ground and now we will connect it at the sine wave and now we will switch on our trainer kit so as we have kept all the ports at minimum so we need to so here we are using channel 1 so here you can see I need to set the frequency at 1 kilohertz so here you can see I have kept the frequency at 1 kilohertz and 2 VPP so by using this level port you can select it at 2 VPP so you need to go to major then show channel 1 so here it is 1.120 so we need to keep it at 2 VPP so it is 1.680 So now it is approximately 2 VPP. So here you can see that it is 2 VPP. So now we will check the output at analog buffer. So it will be same. Now we will check the output a transmitter and now finally we have to check the output at analog out of the amplifier so as we have kept the intensity port at minimum so that's why we are not getting any waveform here so we need to increase the intensity so we need to rotate the intensity knob in clockwise direction so as you increase the intensity you will be receiving the waveform at the output section and it will be same as that of the input analog signal which we have provided so here you can see we are getting 1 kilohertz waveform so it is same as the input which we have provided So that is how you can perform this experiment 1. So now similarly we can perform experiment second that is to study the losses in optical fiber. So we can observe the losses in optical fiber by connecting the optical fiber cable of 3 meter. So here I have connected the optical fiber cable of 1 meter. So we can keep the ranges and the frequency same as this and we just need to replace this optical fiber cable of 1 meter with 3 meter so we will observe that the intensity of the waveform which we are getting will get reduced as the length of the optical fiber increases so that is the one loss which we can study and the other loss we can observe is bending of optical fiber so if bending of optical fiber occurs if you will bend it so if you will roll the optical fiber like this so you will observe that the intensity of the waveform reduces so here you can see that the intensity of the waveform reduces as I have bended it so that is how you can observe the 
ऑप्टिकल फाइबर लॉसेस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म अनादर एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज टू स्टडी फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन एंड डीमोड्यूलेशन यूजिंग फाइबर ऑप्टिक लिंक सो फॉर दैट फर्स्टली वी नीड टू डू द कनेक्शन so here also we will take the input waveform as 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz and now we will connect the sign input to the frequency modulator input section and now we will connect the frequency modulation output at analog buffer the analog buffer output will be connected to the transmitter and the analog output from the amplifier will be connected to the fm demodulator and the demodulator output will be connected to the low pass filter you can connect any of the filter like filter 1 or filter 2 both are the low pass filters and now we will switch on the trainer kit and we will connect the dso so firstly we will observe the input waveform so we will be getting these waveforms at the output so this is the input waveform so firstly we will check this one then one by one we will check all the waveforms so firstly check the input waveform of 1 kilohertz so this is our input waveform of 1 kilohertz then we will check the frequency modulator output so we will check the frequency modulator output at the fm output and here you can see this is the fm modulator output which is the second one and now we will check the third waveform so the third waveform is of detected analog output so we will check the analog output so here you can see this is the analog output and we can increase the analog output intensity by using this intensity knob and now we will check the frequency demodulated output so we will check the frequency demodulated output at the demodulated section so this is the fourth waveform which we can observe and now the last waveform is frequency modulated demodulated output so this is the filtered output so this is same as the input which we have provided so here you can see this is the 1 kilohertz waveform which we have provided at the input section so it is same as the input signal which we have provided this is the input sign waveform and this is the filtered output so that is how you can perform this frequency modulation and demodulation experiment using the optical fiber communication so similarly we can perform the other experiments of modulation and demodulation so here we are having pwm and ppm modulation so for that we need to just change the connections from fm modulator and demodulator section to pwm modulator and pwm demodulator section and in the manual the waveforms are given so you can cross verify the waveform from the manual so the pwm waveforms are this so as in the frequency modulation which we have performed the this is the input signal then this is the pulse width modulation output and similarly you can check all the 
waveforms the buffer output the detected signal and then pwm demodulated output and at last we will be getting the same filter output as we have given the input so that is how you can perform the pwm modulation and similarly you can perform pam modulation and demodulation and here also the waveforms are similar then we can perform the am modulation so for that also you can observe the waveform as it is given in the manual so this is the signal input this is carrier input this is amplitude modulator output and this is the amplitude demodulated output so let us check this amplitude modulation and demodulation experiment so the connections are given in the manual we have to do the connection as per the instructions given in the manual now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study amplitude modulation and demodulation using fiber optic cable so for that firstly we need to do the connection so firstly we will connect the sign input to the signal input of amplitude modulation and we need to check the jumper position so the jumper position is defined in the manual also and in the block diagram also the position of jumpers are given so we need to check the jumper position before doing the connection then we need to connect the carrier input to the carrier output and here we are using the carrier frequency of 50 kilohertz and now we will connect the am modulated output to the analog buffer and we will connect the analog buffer output to the transmitter input and we will connect the analog out to the am demodulated so now we have done the connection and now we will switch on the trainer kit and we will connect the ground to the ground and we will firstly check the sine wave form so it is of 1 kilohertz here you can see that now we will check the carrier wave form which is of 50 kilohertz so here you can see that this is the carrier wave form of 50 kilohertz now we will check the amplitude modulated wave form so here you can see that this is the am modulated wave form and now we will check the detected wave form so here also in the manual the signals are given so this is the input signal which we have checked this is the carrier wave form and this is the amplitude modulated output we have checked and now we will check the amplitude demodulated output which is same as the input so now we will check the amplitude demodulated waveform so here you can see that this is the amplitude modulated output and it is of 1.07 kilohertz so this is same as the input waveform which we have provided so that is how you can perform this am modulation and demodulation experiment now we are going to perform another experiment that is to measure the bit error rate using binary data so for that firstly we need to do the connection so we need to connect the jumper at 32k and we need to keep the PRBS generator switch at first should be at off position and 2 and 3 at on position and 4th is at off position and now we will connect the PRBS clock to the clock of BER counter then we will connect the PRBS data to the BR counter data and we will connect this PRBS data to input of error bit adder and we will connect the output to the receiver data so that is how the connection is done now 
we need to keep this error bit adder at minimum position so that the minimum noise will be added to our data and now we will switch on the equipment so here you can see the bit error counting is started and here you can see this is the bit error counting 59 and 70 now we will keep the reset button pressed and now when we, we have pressed the reset button the state is 00, 0 and now we will press start so here the bit error counter starts counting and here you can see as we have kept the error bit adder at minimum position we are getting the less noise and less error in the BR counter if we will keep it at maximum position we will get the difference in the values so here you can see we are getting 0 1 and 60 so that is how you can perform this experiment now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study digital panel meter using fiber optic link so for that we need to connect this optical fiber cable at 660 nm transmitter and we have connected it at the receiver 1 now we should make sure that the intensity pot should be at minimum position that is at fully anti clockwise position and now we will connect the analog output to the positive terminal and we will connect the negative to the ground so that is how the connection is done now we need to ensure the jumper positions of jumper 2 that should be at 12 volt jumper 3 should be on sign position and jumper 6 should be on transmitter 1 position and we need to keep switch 3 on VI position and now once all the connection is done now we will switch on the main unit and we can use this bias port to set the zero so here you can see that right now the DPM is showing 0, 0, 0. and now as the intensity pot is at minimum position now we will rotate it in clockwise direction and as we rotate it in clockwise direction the DPM will display current flowing through SFX 756V so here you can see that as we are increasing the intensity in clockwise direction we are getting the readings here so that is how we can perform this digital panel meter experiment so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query regarding this kit you can contact the tesla global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel